Never was there a keener boy to go fishing, eh? Is that your new scooter? It is. Oh, mate, that's the go. Jeez, can you take it? Are you allowed a passenger? I don't know if you're allowed one, but you can fit one. Jeez, mate. So she's 50cc? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you how much you pay for it? 150. 150 bucks? Yeah. Jeez, it's a lot of bike for 150 bucks. Yeah. Only problem is it leaks oil and the fuel gauge doesn't work. I bet it does at 150 bucks. <laughs> So how much oil is it pissing out? Not heaps. Yeah? Um, I haven't quite figured it out yet. Mm. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, I got some patties and some mumps. Was that from that pig we caught? Yeah. Oh, good man. Did I give you the whole pig last time we caught it, did I? Yeah. And you got it made of patties and mumps, brilliant. Yeah. Jeez, that's my good karma for giving you the pig. I get some meat back already done. Yeah. I've just been talking to Troy Dando and he says there's a lot of wind out in the base. I reckon we should hit a river mouth today. Oh, mate. Jeez, that's awesome. Shit, yeah. I only got out of bed like half an hour ago. All right. I haven't even had a shower yet. Jeez, mate. Is that from the, the pork? Yeah. Far out. Wicked. I'll put those in the fridge. Awesome. Thank you. This morning we're having some man food. We're going to have this bacon and we're going to have this. It's actually a sour that we caught, eh, Jody? Yeah. And it's had a bit of fat added to it because I don't remember it having that much fat when we caught it. We'll see how it goes in here. It's a bit, bit frozen. Not ideal cooking like that, but uh, I've thought it out a wee bit. Jeez, I don't know. Let's use our fingers to take that out. What do you reckon, mate? What do I reckon? Be good? That'll be good. Bloody oath. I guarantee that's the most salad you've had in the last <laughs> week. Am I right? No. No? Oh, You're good. not right. I had a very salad-y dinner last night. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, pleased to hear it because you don't normally. No, not normally. What made you do that? At my girlfriend's house. <laughs> ah, I like your girlfriend. I like the sound of her. She's onto it. Yep, 10 out of 10. Bit of old titty, sir. How's your taste? What do you reckon? It's good for a titty, sir. It's really good, eh? It is. He put herbs in there, hasn't he? Yeah. Mmm. It's good. Well, you're sitting tucker fucker all over yours. That's why it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> James at Meat Solutions in Richmond did this. Um, I can taste the rosemary he put on there. Mm -hmm. This rosemary, that taste. He's put a lot of rosemary, but it's really good. And he's obviously stuck some fat because it was a skinny old sour, eh? But it's really good chewing. Really good. So we're having a caveman diet today. Mm. Above average. Mm. Meat for an average weight sour. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> good one. Do you want to explain what you meant by that? Um, this pig won the average weight at the competition, so I won this jacket, mm -hmm. soft shell vest, and some uh, waterproof pants. Oh, bro, yeah, you did, man. And you carried it out. It was a win-win. Yeah. And you're still winning because you're wearing it. Yeah. And I heard from the people at Coppins where he works in the shop that he's wearing it every day when he comes into work. He just loves that jacket. Like and now we're eating it. You know, the anti-hunters that are against us going hunting our own meat, you know, here's a, a feral animal that's causing havoc, you know, they, and they do. And if we don't hunt them, then they'll 1080 them, they'll poison them. So this young fella gets out the hill, catches it, carries it out, wins himself some clothes, and now we're eating the bastard. You know, it's, it's just a win-win, it really is. I just don't, I don't want to raise a topic and be a downer on you vegans watching this, because uh, I know you do. I've actually got a vegetarian patron, which I think is bloody awesome. Yeah. But he's probably of the mindset, well, if I'm not going to kill it myself, then I'm not going to buy it. And I really respect that. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem with them because they're leaving more pigs for us to catch. Absolutely. And often hunters will, like, they compete against each other and that. Well, that's natural, I guess, you know. In the wild, how we evolved, if 
you know, the other caveman killed the, I don't know, the mammoth first and his his tribe killed it, then your tribe might have gone hungry. I can understand that's where it probably comes from. That's why no one wants to share their hunting blocks, eh, Jody? Mm. Yeah, us hunters are very particular about our blocks, eh? Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just showing the knife that I've got here and it's actually coming to bits. The end's falling off, it's sort of breaking. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to, going to fall to bits, eh? And... Um, Probably see it there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's buggered. Tell us a story about your knife that did the same thing. So, I stole a kitchen knife off my mum. You what? I borrowed. A you borrowed knife. a kitchen knife, okay. And I put a tip on it with the grinder, and we were hunting in a certain place, which I can't say. We got a sow. So, I'm coming up to it with my mate, and I hand him my knife. He goes to stick it. It won't go in. It's like bending all over the place. <laughs> the sure. blade. Flexes out of the handle, so he just throws a knife, and then we had to stick it with my little bait knife. Oh, mate. She's a bit fucked. Just doing my idiot check. Fuel. Now we need more fuel. Hat, torch, rods, rods, knives. Bin, Jody stuff, life jackets, Land Cruiser. And the Land Cruiser has lost its four-wheel drive. Don't know what the hell's going on with the bloody four-wheel drive in this. So we're hopeful to get some kahawai. That's what we're going to aim for. Went out three days ago and got bloody nothing. So we can only try, really. We like catching kahawai, mate. I like catching fish. Yeah. In general, catching fish is good, eh? Yeah. Haven't been too good at that lately. Oh, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Do you think we should take pace or not? What's your gut feeling? Pace isn't going to catch as any fish though. Well, no, but he's cute. He's I cute. like him. He's very cute. I'm a softy at pace. He likes being on the boat, eh? Hey? Yeah. Who does that? He loves it, mate. When we caught those snapper, was it pace or choppy that came with us? Ah, uh, I forget. Don't know. Yeah. Can't remember. Don't talk about Choppy, he's gone. At least he died doing what he loves. Oh, I'm in four wheel drive, but actually, of course I'm not really in four wheel drive, it just says I'm in four wheel drive, but that's bullshit because it's not working. Yeah, I suppose I could go into high box. Might be a bit better. Doesn't make much difference, she just feels the same. Still runs like a bucket of hairy assholes. <laughs> No birds out there working the water, eh? Not too hopeful. Pretty fat though. All the new infrastructure going into Mapur, all the gear. This place is going ahead. Well, currently we're in Mapur. We came down here, we went down and checked out the sea. Down across this point. Pretty flat, not a bird in sight fishing anywhere. And I said, oh yeah, we'll still give it a crack. And he's going, no, nah, we'll go to Kaiteri Teddy. I said, well, what's the difference? He goes, my gut feeling. I said, well, what's the logic behind your gut feeling? What was your logic behind your gut feeling? We drive like 45 minutes from here all the way to there. What do you base that on? From what I've caught in the past mm -hmm. and what I haven't caught there, I've never caught nothing. Isn't that fun? You've never caught nothing there? No. Ever? Never caught nothing where we're going. You have caught nothing of me here though, haven't you? Yeah. I can understand his gut feeling. Well, okay. I've been out plenty of times of my poor, mm -hmm. caught nothing. I just thought that was because you were a shit fisherman. I am, but if I can catch them out there. Yeah, I hate us amount of I can anyone, catch fish, anyone can catch fish, so yeah. so our yeah, logic is sort of like you know, wasting a bit of time, a bit of driving, a bit of fuel. But we're gonna go and try Kai Teddy Teddy. Man, if we don't catch any today, you are so deep in the shit with me, son. <laughs> you are so deep in the shit. I'm taking the advice of a of a 16-year-old mountain biker. I call him a mountain biker because he's an extremely good mountain biker. I can see this chap getting some sponsorship and life going very well for him with his mountain biking. Right now he's doing very well indeed. Right, stop yakking and get this thing across over there crashing. Which I'm only allowed to talk when I'm driving so I'll turn that off. Welcome to Kai Teddy Teddy. Each year they have a race here. Uh, it's a 21k race and a 10k race. And 10k race you run up this hill here, you go right around 
come back. I did it a few years ago in bare feet and I got told off because it's run by the shoe clinic or it was then and they said you can't do that. I did it in 49 minutes and Jody's got his line in the water already and it really is flat ass out there. Anything chasing your line in pal? Sticks. Sticks are chasing it in, okay. Oh, we'll get uh, this thing in the water and see what we can find out there. Far out, this place is beautiful man. It's absolutely beautiful. Wicked. Just slow down because we've seen this little penguin in the water in our path. I'll zoom in so you can see a bit closer. Cute little penguin. He's looking for fish, he's got his head down looking for fish, eh? So we can zoom in a bit closer. Yeah, it's as close as I can get in there. He's just going along with his head underwater. Looking for fish. So Jody's got his lure in the water. I got mine in. We've got these spotted shags all around us here, over here. They're endemic to New Zealand. They're a neat looking animal actually, or bird. Bloody cool. Oh, it's got a mullet. He has got a mullet. Beautiful looking bird. Blue eyes. Yeah, blue eyes. Lovely. Awesome. We cave in there. I'm just going to kill the motor. We'll just stop here for a bit. See you guys. I've just turned the motor off because some dolphins are swimming towards us here. No, they're going that way. I don't want to disturb them. Well, there they go. They're over here. Look. So we'll just let them swim past us, and then we'll start to motor again. Common dolphin, do you think? Oh, I didn't see them. No, well, they didn't look big enough. What, you think they might be Hector's? Here you go. Yeah. It's popping up now. Well, those guys know where the fish are. Yeah, there's a pod there, and there's a pod further out to sea. Yeah. I can hear all the native birds on Adele Island. Yeah, it's really got a lot of native birds on it. Where have they gone? Oh, there he goes here. Look at right beside us here. Beautiful. How about that, eh? That's awesome. And just for the record, for those of you watching me, I stopped the boat. We saw them. We're not steaming towards them or chasing them. We just let them swim past us. That was a pretty cool experience, eh, bud? It's pretty special. Yeah. Jody reckons this point over here is his favourite spot, so we'll give it a crack. This is the Abel Tasman National Park we're in. My father used to be the ranger of this national park in 1969, from 1969 to 1972. And I lived here and I've all these hills I used to hunt around, fish around. I had my own speedboat when I was only five. I know the area pretty well. I still hunt it regularly, although I haven't hunted it this uh, winter because of the uh, pest control they're doing in here. What do you reckon, Jody? Just off this point here, mate. So we just drift a bit, eh? Because that's how you catch gurner as well with your bait bouncing off the bottom. This would be probably rocky bottom here, I imagine. What do you reckon? Yeah, so we might get a few snags. Oh, so here we go. Give it a crack. What do you reckon? I don't know. Hey, uh, what is that, man? Spiny dog. Spiny dog? Spiny it's quite a big rack. one. Grab it. Watch, just watch the spine. It's got a spine, I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a rig, it looks like a spiny. I think it's a spiny dogfish, mate. Right on, me old mate. Off you go. So yeah. Who 
ducks on the water, Jody. I told you I should have bought me 14. Up, they're up. Boom, boom. Duck tonight. Just keep your eyes on the bottom, pal. See a flounder, we'll try and eat it. That's beautiful. I wish I could make this boat go a bit slower. No. Oh, have you? Yeah. Frozen one? Yeah. You want to cook that up? Yeah, dude. Oh, is it fresh? It's Is it one you caught with me? But no. How big is it? Big enough. Big enough for a feed, oh. It's more food than we've caught today. This was um, your bait. You probably caught it with me anyway the other time. It must be pretty bloody manky deep there, because look at it. <laughs> doesn't look that healthy. Been in the freezer for a while. I don't know, she's a bit rough, mate. As it turned out, uh, Jody's uh, secret hunting spot was so secret even the fish didn't know where it was. And we might be forced tonight just to eat an old bit of bait fish. <laughs> How long's that been in your freezer for? Why? Well, yeah, mate, I think time. it's uh, past that she's by date. No, we're not going to eat that. No, we're, not. we're going hungry, boy. <laughs> When I was a little boy, my father used to work around here as a ranger, I can remember it. And what's really awesome is today, the Dell Island is completely pest free. There's no rats, there's no mice, there's no possum. And when we were going around fishing, we could actually hear all these native birds. It was really loud. Pretty loud, eh, Jody? It's mind blowing how loud it was. Because there's no rats to, to kill all the birds in it. It was incredible. Like, we could just hear all the birds singing. And I'd love to come here in the morning and hear the early morning dawn chorus. Yeah, apparently there was wild pigs on here a few years ago. Doc tried to get rid of them, but they never found them. There'd be footprints on the beach or droppings if there was somewhere. Hope you guys enjoyed my clip. I had a fantastic day with Jody. He's a real cool kid. I've been taking him out for over a year now. He had a few problems at school and he's now out of school, which is better for him. I think probably better for his family. And it's good because he's working part time and getting uh, skills at working in a bike shop. He's working at Coppins and he's really good at what he does. He's got a lot of talent there. I think every young man is good at something and the trick is to find out what he is good at. Just disregard the things he struggles with. There's no point thrashing a dead horse. If something's not working, move on. And Jody's got a lot of natural talent. He's good in the bush. He's a good fisherman too, but today we just lucked out. That's what hunting and fishing's like. Anyway, thanks for watching. Smash the like button if you're still with me. And we'll see you again soon. And be good. And if you can't be good, be careful. See you later.